All right, so we are looking at uh, unit four, review two, which is math fourth grade. So let's have a look here. And uh, we're starting with comparing the population of some different American cities. So first, we're looking at um, New York versus Philadelphia. So there's New York and Philadelphia. So like that, and then I can write Philadelphia's population here. And in the middle, I'm gonna put one of these three signs to compare which one is uh, greater than or equal than or less than. And then for Chicago, we're gonna write this in words. So it's gonna start with something, million, six, blah, 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 thousand, five, and then keep going. It's a pretty long number, so you might need some more space. So then the opposite is here. It's giving you Denver's population in words, so please write it in numbers there. And then we're rounding now. So just remember to look at the number coming after each number. So the nearest 10, the number coming after that 60 will tell you how it rounds. And then I think the other ones you can do for rounding, but this is an interesting one here. Let's look at number five through 10. So for these, uh, I would be careful. It's not asking you as, uh, about how many in the hundreds place. It's saying how many hundreds in general. So that's the hundreds place, but this includes anything there. So there are 10 hundreds in a thousand, right? And there are 70 hundreds in 7,000. So you have to look at that place value, but then also the numbers above it. So another example would be how many thousands in 38? Well, there's a thousands place, but don't forget about those. So there are 38 thousands there. <clears throat> so find that place value and include anything to the left of it. And then down here, we're looking at um, some comparisons, but we just need to remember some of these uh, metric systems. So let's go over that real quick. So think about um, kilometers. One kilometer is how many meters, and one kilogram is how many grams, <clears throat> and one liter is how many milliliters. Think about all of those for a moment. And if you've thought about them, you know it's the same for all three. A thousand, one liter is a thousand milliliters <clears throat> for all of those. So that's going to help you figure out these. So 18 kilometers we have here. So 18 kilometers is going to be 18,000 meters. So then you can use that to compare those two numbers. Okay, you're gonna have a similar thing for grams, 17 or 17 kilograms. How many grams is that going to be? You're following a similar pattern. And then down here, 13 and a half liters, or think of that as 13.5 liters, <clears throat> how many milliliters would that be? And that's gonna help you compare. And then let's do an open number line to solve this. And look at this, Jeff ran a 10K, and uh, he ran two K, two 10Ks. So how much faster was his second one? So let's do an open number line. And we're aiming for one hour, one minute, and 49 seconds. So I'm going to start by going just seven seconds and getting myself to 58. Then let's just go two more minutes to uh, exactly one hour, zero minutes and zero seconds. And then uh, we can probably just go all the way now. If we went all the way to the end, that's gonna be one minute and 49 seconds, right? And then if you put those together, those three together, then you'll have how much Jeff improved. So good job, Jeff, for your improvement. And Last bit here. So Alex um, drank some sports drink bottles 
Now we're at 350 milliliters. That's about the size of your average like can of something you would buy in a vending machine. But Alex drank three of them. Oh, this is Alex is a girl. So how much did she drink? So there's two ways to go about this. You could uh, just do three times 350, or you could just add them up like so to get how many milliliters <clears throat> that would be. Um, and then the last bit is how many more milliliters would Alex need to drink to have two liters? So just remember two liters It's going to equal how many milliliters? <clears throat> One liter is a thousand, so two liters is two thousand milliliters. And then you'll subtract how much did she already drink to figure out how much is left. And that is your homework for unit four, review two. Thank you.